Hey everyone, welcome back to a vintage vanity, and I am tickled bluish pink to be back. Not just to be back with another video, but a hair tutorial. A couple months ago, we watched and did a classy chicks on Meet Me in St. Louis starring Judy Garland, and I did my hair like this as an homage to her hairstyle in the film. And you guys said, Jen, can we have a tutorial? And I was like, uh, yeah. Of course you can and that is what this video is now the big difference is Judy Garland did have bangs in those movies and I do not so that is why I created this a uh, straight sleek style of bumper bangs to kind of recreate the feel of her look in that movie I hope you guys are really enjoy so keep watching so my hair is left to dry unsupervised this is what it does kind of sort of wants to think about curling but doesn't really and gets a little fluffy so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to tame it all down and make it nice and sleek to do that i'm going to use my beloved lady luck smoothing serum just going to take a few drops of that warm it up in the palm of my hand and then i'm going to start to put it onto the hair starting at the ends of the hair because that's where my hair is the most damaged and especially with the bleaching and the coloring and everything else it needs the moisture this is going to help shine the hair smooth the hair and gosh darn it it smells amazing it is hard to find the words to tell you how important it is to use a thermal protectant when using heat to style your hair. It's going to help to minimize any damage caused by that heat. And especially if you have color treated hair, it's going to help to minimize fading. So spray away, my friends. It's time for the straightening iron. Since this style is like the opposite of everything I do on this channel, we're actually using a hair straightener. I know. I think that might be the first time that those words have ever been said on this channel. So to straighten the hair, I do it from the bottom up. And so I'm just going to section off the top portion of the hair and pin it out of the way while we straighten. So I, I tend to take bigger sections of the hair. And I just run it down the length of hair. When I get to the ends, I start to roll it in. So it just creates just the slightest hint of a curl at the very end of it. Again, depending on your hair type, the straightening process might take a little bit longer. And then you just repeat that process on this side of the hair. Ooh, so sleek. So now that we are all straightened out, at least literally, if not figuratively, <laughs> we are going to section off the hair for our bumper bang. So I'm simply gonna go from the temple here to the other temple over here in a U shape. And you do wanna get the sectioning of the hair fairly uniform. Um, I am going to use a hair rat. This I actually just found at CVS in the hair section. It is a French twist thing, quaff, bun filler. Oh, we gonna tease, we gonna tease. I'm gonna take thin sections of hair and I am going to tease. Um, I'm gonna do a little less teasing on the very top tier just because I don't want it to be too teased up on the very top but I just washed my hair so the hair is very very slippery these styles actually work better on hair that is at least a day old the hair kind of sticks to each other better um, I'm gonna spritz that with some hairspray so that's why I'm doing the teasing on that layer of hair. If this was day old hair, I probably wouldn't even tease the very, very top layer. I'd leave it smooth, but um, it's going to mold a lot better when it has something to grip onto. The rest of this hair, oh, it's getting teased. Now you wanna give the hairspray just a minute to dry. You don't wanna start brushing on any of this while it's wet. I am just going to brush the very outside, the top layer, 
of the hair and you want to do it on the sides as well so you want to do the sides and the top basically we want it to look nice and smooth because how this looks right now is how it's going to look when it starts to roll up especially this section of hair this part not so much now before i go completely overall crazy i'm gonna take my pomade this is the lady luck pomade that i'm using i'm just gonna put it onto my hands smell it because it smells wonderful and then over the hair basically calming down any flyaways and this will also give it a little bit of sheen to the hair as well gather those ends together and you know you're kind of in for a good roll if you can kind of push back a little bit and it looks pretty good not bad and you want to roll it from down here don't roll it from up here Just gathering all those ends together tucking those ends in and i am rolling it taunt taunt such a funny word once it is nice and rolled up and it looks nice and smooth, I'm going to hold on to the ends of the chignon form. And then I'm going to take my, you guessed it, bobby pin. And I'm going to pin um, on the side of the chignon right into my hair. So you should be able to uh, just take your finger off of it and not have it pop away from your head. I do find that I do need to do pins on two pins on each end of the chignon to really keep it in place because that's going to be the main pinning in the hair. You should be crossing those pins over when you put them in so that will make it good and solid and it won't move. I'm going to let the rest of my hair down because otherwise it will start to kink. See from the hair tie. I'm just going to brush that real quick. This is always the hardest part about bumper bangs for me, is you have now got to spread them out so you don't actually see the roll. So I'm just going to start inching them out from the center. And an important thing to remind yourself too, when you start inching them out, you don't want to be revealing any of that back combing. Inch by inch, step by step. And then down, once I've kind of inched out here, I'm going below the bangs and tugging on them a little bit. And then, let's see if you can see this, I am kind of placing my finger on the hair right here so that I can kind of get more of a U shape to the hair that I'm pulling on. Perfect. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush the sides of the hair, so just above the ear, and I'm going to bring it up to the top. And I am bringing it right into the middle, and I'm giving it a bit of a twist, because you want it to look nice when it's up there. Booby pin. And pin it. This is the side of my head that's always harder than the other. And I'm bringing that hair up to where the other hair is. A bit of a twist. And then booby we'll pin it. And then what's going to happen is that hair from when we pulled it up will kind of fall down to the sides. So I always keep my curling straightener <laughs> um, right there in case I need to run over the hair again because again all the curls should be at the bottom a good style is never complete without some fabulous hair flowers these I got from a bell blossom and I absolutely love them they're some of my favorite flowers in my collection I hope you guys enjoyed today's hair tutorial and as always let me know in the comment section below what you thought of today's look and also I'm curious what is your favorite Judy Garland film 
let me know in the comments section. If you are happy to see hair tutorials back, go ahead and slam that thumbs up button. And of course, these videos couldn't continue without the help and support of my Patreon. So thank you guys so much. Uh, your support means everything and I can't thank you enough. I mean, my thank you is from the tip of my toes all the way through the very tips of my hair. So thank you guys. If you guys are new to a vintage vanity, you don't want to miss a minute of what goes on here. So go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And did you know, if you hit the notification bell, you will always be notified when a new video is posted on this channel, especially considering the upload schedule is a little insane right now. If you'd like to shop my clothing line, go ahead and click on that amazing little boomerang logo that you see there. And of course, if you want more of a vintage vanity, check out the video that you see there. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.